Hello friends, welcome back to my video. Before we start live stream tonight, uh, so probably 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. Uh, gonna be doing a call-in stream talking about your cheating ex story, so it's gonna not be depressing. <laughs> Link in the box with the words to come watch that. This is TikTok Tuesday, the series that extra thick today let's go is it a thing of wood i like those glasses very good very nice very good very nice damn hello chicken nugget <laughs> all right that's it eight in the morning Where all right a booster fucking i don't know the back seat of a car <laughs> oh these thank keep you calling about this shit you just got back from <laughs> miami i'll be the test you got it you tried one out yet i'm positive that you positive six feet Nah, CDC ah. actually says it's uh, six inches apart now. Oh, cool. Is that big or small? No, what if he's legit? <laughs> they said you can't walk? Shit, girl, what's his name? <laughs> Omicron? Uh, oh, shit. Have ooh. you tried divorce? No, I think French Montana would is watch a great all of artist. this. No, you put the TV show I would watch. on and then you loop it under. You pull from under. Mm, yeah, better not that's be true. goddamn drug test. Should we do merch? <laughs> so you can for sure wait 30 minutes to go swimming after you eat. If you're let's old. do uh, bitch, Let's cramp. do heat death CDC Dude, merch. This guy's got cramps. What Gross. if we just turn Omicron into an NFT? Yeah, just put some Makes headphones sense. on, a little bit of Joe Rogan. You should be good by tomorrow. You never mm, answered. Don't know about that. Six inches, like a substantial. No, it's, it's average, Please right? Up. It's hey, average. Guys, I hate to interrupt, but a uh, new variant just dropped. Fifth one this week. Let's go. All right. All right. Hell yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I've... Something tells me that was a real documentary. Mark Zuckerberg mm. asked me to be part of his metaverse. Oh, testing. lucky you. Let's check this out. Fuck this shit. Congratulations on becoming an alpha tester for metaverse. You will soon be joining a shared VR space with... Can't space afford a better voice audio. actor? Oh. Accompanied by Mark Zuckerberg, who will test this environment with you. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, and welcome. <laughs> no. Today, we're going to talk about the metaverse. Oh, he has a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> Starting with the most important experience. I'm fucking done with today. Is. Fuck this. You're going to be able to the world into the metaverse. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Like barbecue, Who the fuck's that? Um, and I guess I guess I'm a sweet baby Ray's fanboy. God, he's weird. New alert. Mark Zuckerberg offers you his sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Nod your metaverse licensed headset to accept. <laughs> Shake your metaverse licensed headset to decline. Oh, you're gonna get killed. You're dead, buddy. Head shake detected. You are about to decline Mark's offer. Not Mark your Suffer. licensed headset to confirm the rejection. Shake your metaverse licensed headset. Head not detected. You decline Mark's offer. Mark did not like Oh, that. he's gonna... Oh! Meta has dispatched a hitman to your location at Mark Zuckerberg's request. <coughs> you may feel your meta licensed headset tightening. Soon you will be unable to remove it. This is normal and follows the terms of service that you previously accepted. Okay. Well. Okay. So what's it like to have boobs? It's great. I don't know. What's it like to have a penis? It's awful. It's hard sometimes. Oh. <laughs> but it do be. We got Mr. Worldwide. Mm, good movie. We got 21st Days. Great. We got Grudge Duty. We got Family Fully Loaded. We got <laughs> Potato Fully Loaded. Oh, we give me them all. Marley. We got Blade and Manhattan. Oh, no. We got Blade, Vamp in the City. We got Breakable. We got I Am Vaccinated. We got Dread Claws. Hitch. We got Hitch. We got Hitch. We got, Hitch. We got uh, Family. We got Home Depot, Lost in the Lumber Aisle. We got House Alone. Oh. We got Cussy. Mm. We got Cussy Fully, fully Loaded. loaded. We got Is that Hussy? We got Marriage Smashers. We got Will Smith's iPod <laughs> Shuffle. We got 305. We got Mean Chef. We got You Can't See uh, Me. We got Saving Private classic. Rogan. We got P.S. I Love You Hall. And we got D.S. I Love You. <laughs> and we got Click. My For You page is a fucking hellscape. I'm bisexual, which means I like sex and sex. Fair. I've, I... I've got a peer-reviewed study right here that says... Mm. Says you're a pussy.
Yeah. Oh. You gotta go no, that's that's her home. house now. Oh my this god, I'd be home. so happy. Look how big that we don't have anything snout to give is. You. Scratch it for you look like a, very a long nice time. Lady. Yes, she does. Moose lady. Well, yeah. Moose lady. That's adorable. You gotta go. Let her in. You What's the worst that can happen? I think they wrote now. a book about that. And muffins. What up, dude? Not much, dude. What's, What's up? up? Playa? We're having so much fun now. I know. Uh, oh, is that your dad? What? Oh, <laughs> hey, Mr. Collins. <laughs> Sorry about that. My dad gets really weird in front of company. Same. Oh, no worries. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He just uh, really. Yeah. He's watching us again. Dad, dad? come say hello to our guest. Come hang out. And Stephen, right? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> you have to speak up. I said yes. <laughs> uh, no, it was second base. You don't know. Hey, I was just wondering. If Can't hear you, Dad. I was just wondering if you and Steven would like some sandwiches. That sounds great, Mr. Collins. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mr. Collins, I was wondering... Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, sorry. You want me to do it? Oh, right this, now. like, hurts my fucking soul. I Fortnite earlier, and I thought you were really good, so I drew you this. <laughs> hey, Steven, I forgot to ask. Did you want the crusts cut off your sandwich? Okay. Hey, Steven, I forgot to ask. Did you want any rust on your... Rust? Oh no, you fucked up. Well, I hope you got a lot of time on your hands because now we got to get rust on the sandwich. <laughs> Mr. Collins, I just wanted to thank you for having me before you went on your run. Oh, uh, no, just wait. No. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus fucking God, dude. This is amazing. Don't get much sleep in that house. Ooh. Wanna blow off steam Well good luck finding any relief To come pick up the mouth She's screaming Shout and she's a red in the face It's no better place To bicker all your fickle little troubles away. Oh god To give what she took For Elf I can't even clean my fucking room what's the most painful thing you've ever been told everything in my life that i should go back to where i came from oh like dude you really want me back at your mom's place caught a vibe <laughs> baby are you coming for the <laughs> i fucking hate this Ooh, a classic who driving this bus me bitch i will tell you who was driving this bus and it is me motherfucker <laughs> I'm going to come back there and beat your ratchet ass to you. Say one more goddamn thing. Mm. Okay, calm down. She gets it now. I swear to God. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> what the? All right, here's an explanation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so honestly, as someone from the UK, this is actually quite annoying because people like to constantly say from the UK. Accent. And there's something quite. Man, I'm just playing, man. I don't sound anything like that. I, I do the same goddamn thing every time. All right, my new favorite series. I went series. down to the local coffee shop the other morning. As I do most mornings, much yeah. to my wife's disappointment, she'd prefer I drink the stuff we have at home, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't taste the same as it does when you get it from down at the coffee You're spot. You're about to be weird, it. aren't you? So I went in there and I told the little girl working the, the counter there, hey, I'll have mm -hmm. my usual, I'll have just a, you know, an oat milk latte. Well, <clears throat> she got to work on it and she worked really hard on it. And she, you know, fixed it all up and handed it to me and said, here you go, sir. And I took a drink of it. It was whole milk. Oh, fuck. Latte. So I said, oh, excuse me, darling. I don't want to bother you. Or, My cringe is going you, off. You gave me whole milk and I asked for oat milk. Um, would you mind redoing it? And she launched into this apology. She said, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on with me lately. I just can't stop making mistakes. And I said, hey, hey. Same though. All right. <laughs> It's really easy when you're making something to make a mistake for us, for humans. But there's a guy I know who makes an awful lot and has never made a mistake. You see, his name is Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, I forgot to show you guys. I got a new tattoo. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can. It's healing right now, but it's the cherry skulls from Heat Death. Pretty cool. Shout out Dave Halsey. Uh, anything with this sound makes me want to stop. Yeah, you're drunk off pasta sauce, we know. <laughs> Please shut up. Uh, 
I used to be like this. I bet some of you are like this right now. Think about it. Be critical of yourself. This My is insane. history professor's love it. intro video. I love it. I'm dropping. Nice helmet. But I stand before you today beholden to no human cocksucker <laughs> and work in a paying fucking union job. And no I like all those filing cabinets. Of an administrator is going to tell me how to teach my classes Good. because I'm a fucking tenured professor. Oh, uh, that means a so lot. So if you want to go complain to your dean, fuck you, <laughs> go ahead. I'm retiring at the end of this year and I couldn't give a flying fuck any longer. You people I are just it. vectors of disease to me and I don't want to be anywhere near you. Mm, so keep makes your sense. fucking distance. If you want to talk to me, come to my Zoom. Stuart Little got old. Uh, anyway, back to my <laughs> soliloquy. Sorry. Uh, so what you really want to know is how the fuck am I going to get out of this course alive yeah. and with an A? Well, this is the real question. How does this asshole professor grade? Well, let me set your mind at ease about that. You How don't did have they a let him about because post there's this? absolutely nothing you can do. You have no control over your grade. Nice. It doesn't matter how fucking hard you work or how great your grades are. My grading system is based on the Calvinist doctrine of predestination. Oh. It's good enough for Calvin. It's good enough for me. All right. None of you cocksuckers are good enough to earn an A in my class. So I Fair. randomly assign grades before the first day of class. I, I don't want to know shit about you. I don't even want to know your name. I just look at the number and I assign a grade. That is how predestination works. And don't come fucking complaining to me. <laughs> Take your complaints to God. He ordained this system. Take your complaints to God. So, when I look out at a classroom filled with 50 students, I see 50 selfish kids who don't give a shit Clids. whether grandpa lives or dies. And if you won't expose your grandpa to a possible infection with COVID, then stay the fuck away from me. If you don't give a shit about whether grandpa lives or dies, by all means, come to class. I think he's having a mental break. Now, before any of you go running to complain. As an empath, I can, happens every I can semester, tell. <laughs> Dr. Mailer said, we shouldn't come to class. Dr. Mailer said, we shouldn't come to class. Let me clarify my attendance policy. <laughs> First. <laughs> Let me explain that professors have complete discretion with regard to attendance policy. Many professors, for example, allow three unexcused absences, while other professors do not take attendance uh, 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 and require no. attendance at all. My classes are all designed to be taught remotely, and everything you need to earn an A is available to you on Wait, didn't you just page. say that it doesn't there matter? There is no benefit whatsoever from coming to class. I will not take questions what? in class because I'm understand. wearing this fucking helmet in order to stay alive. <laughs> so please, come to class. Enjoy the show. I'll be there regularly because I have no choice. You on the Oh my God, dude, that's fuck. That's legitimately crazy. Um, I hope that he's all right. I think I don't actually know if I hope that. Hey, my car battery's dead. Can you go jump it for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. What up, tough guy? <laughs> <laughs> Some vine energy. Good. We didn't right. have sex ed in school. Teacher just showed us the love scene in Avatar and said y'all get the idea. I mean, it's very similar. Honestly, I can't tell no difference in Walmart's brand ammo. To me, it kills the deer's just No matter how many times I see it. My grandma came up to me a while ago and said, Mama, you want to hear some corn? I said, honey, if it ain't on the cob, I don't hardly fool with That is the dopest thing ever. I don't know. how they could spay and noodle pets just by the laying of his hands. Amen. My son's been sicker in hell after he ate one of them alternative healthy restaurants. Restaurants? Said, Rodney, what'd you expect? You lay down with dogs, you're gonna get up with fleas. <laughs> when my papa <laughs> went on the news, they put on captions like he's speaking a foreign language. <laughs> Southern accents are crazy. Yes! All right, hello. time for a jam. I was wondering if you could play that, that song, song again. Hmm. Which one, man? The one that goes beep boop boop bop beep boop boop beep bop boop bop beep boop boop beep bop beep boop boop beep boop bop beep boop boop bop bop beep boop boop beep bop bop beep boop boop beep boop boop bop beep boop boop bop beep boop boop bop boop beep boop boop beep boop bop beep boop 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 boop
boo boo be bop boo boo be boo bop fucking hard as hell boo boo bop bop boo be boo boo be boo bop be bop boo be boo boo be bop in the comments be bop or bop boo be boo boo bop be boo boo be bop bop be boo boo be bop boo bop be boo boo be boo bop be boo boo bop bop be boo boo be bop I like this slideshow take it's really well done all right well, I'm going to listen to that forever. Probably shouldn't do that. Or you should. You should do this. <laughs> Me every morning. I think Jeopardy is real. It is. <laughs> I fell yesterday on both knees in a lot of pain. <laughs> I went to the PT today to get my wheelchair and then to the doctor and it was put on a zithromycin. Okay. The picture you put on my timeline is not me. How do you change it? Me. How can I concentrate on playing when the Eagles are down 14? How can I concentrate on playing when the Eagles are down 14? How can I concentrate on playing when the Eagles are down 14? Uh, all right. Okay, who's got ideas for the Eminem rebrand? Not me. Americana. We switched to red, white, and blue. Eat them in the wrong order and you're just celebrating France. Oh, right? we can't do that. Don, you're late. We make the M&Ms fuckable. what do you say? I said we make the M&Ms fuckable. That I don't genius. Think we do that. No, we should. America doesn't want M&Ms. They kind of do. Mm, America not... just wants her hair pulled and her holes filled. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right they do. We're making the yellow M&M yeah, a probably. visual learner. He's got a minor in restaurant architecture and a major attitude problem. Why? Maybe because he's 6'4 with the hog of a young Cary Grant and the balls of an old Bassett. Hound. <laughs> what? Now the red M&M is a reverse dungeon daddy. He's got his amateur pilot's license for one reason only, to join the Mile High Club. Uh, no. Now the green M&M is converting to Catholicism because she realized she can only finish when God is watching. And spoiler alert, He's always watching. They're smooth down there. They don't They don't have anything. Shut up, Greg. He's onto something. The blue M&M is hype-pilled and obsessed with ladders. He's okay. gonna break his leg trying to lick the ceiling fan to completion. He's gonna go to the hospital and they're gonna give him an extra and he's gonna find out something much bigger. How did you do that? And much smaller. He's pregnant. Oh my god. Who is the father? I wish I knew. <laughs> the green M&M was canonically in New York on September 11th. She's never forgiven herself. That's why she kills. What? He said that's why she kills. Kills what? Anything she fucking can. Do you even have anything for the orange M&M? No, I don't. See, there we go. That's because we're putting him down like a fucking dog. You're just killing him off? A live broadcast in real time. <laughs> Dawn, I'm drawing the line. This is too much. Wait, two words. Super Bowl halftime show. Oh my god. It's... It's like five words. It's perfect. Who's ready to make some fucking money? Me, dude. Me. Hey, if you're watching this during the premiere, can I get a piss in chat, please? Glorious piss. So oh, good to say that. Anyway, going live <laughs> after this, probably at like nine o'clock. I don't fucking know. Why, why do you think I would know? We're doing a call-in stream, talking about your cheating ex stories. So I'm super stoked to hear about that. They're usually crazy. You don't want to... <laughs> I want to miss that link down in the box with the words to uh to go watch that if it's still tuesday or if you're in the premiere just wait to the end of this video it'll spit you out to the live stream thanks for your consideration back to the awful that was sus sick mommy milkers i have to use these oj simpson <laughs> social credit deducted nice that's that, I'm gonna use the mommy milkers on my stream. After the success of Bunny the Dog on TikTok, oh, that was Egg cool. Party Laboratories is very Dogs excited can talk. to introduce the future of men expressing their emotions. Oh, I can't wait to be able to talk. Noah, sad. Oh. That was great. That was great, good Noah. Stuff. Thank Noah, you. Noah, good okay. job. Good job, <laughs> Noah. I think it was okay. Progress oh. has been a little wow. slower than we anticipated. Chris? Good. Keep going, keep going, one more. Chris, horny. Chris. Uh, Jesus Christ, it's not looking really good out there. I don't know if they're ever gonna get uh -huh, it. Probably not. Uh, go ahead and tell us how you feel, Lucas. Lucas, happy. Mm. That, Noah, sad. <laughs> no, but just uh -huh. when we thought that all hope was lost, mm. we had a breakthrough. Gabe, think this, feel like superficial commentary on very complicated subject post-world war ii veterans 
brought back their <laughs> PTSD to their homes. Oh Young no. Boys suffered as a result. Uh, this is one wound. Comedy can't heal. We are people. You are people. Gabe is people. Hmm? Hmm? Horny. Mm. Mm. <laughs> she pisses when she farts. Sometimes she shorts. Booty rocking cowgirl coming to my barn. <laughs> hey there, folks. Hey. I'm Hank Jr. What's up, owner Hank? Of Hank's Barn Grill. And if you're from the Tulsa area, y'all know all about our classic fully loaded baked potato, mm. Irish cheddar, sour cream, chives, butter, bacon, I'm and really oregano, hungry. piled on top of two pounds of Idaho gold. Mm. Mm -mm, good. But when I inherited this restaurant from my father last year, I thought, how can we get this potato truly fully loaded? So we added black olives, mm. jalapenos, mm. and chopped onions. All right. But I wasn't satisfied. So we added tomatoes, garlic, guac, a vegetable kebab, shrimp scampi, six full chicken wings, what is wings, this? peanuts, pad thai, and a rack of baby back ribs. What is this? Then I realized the truth. Before I died, <laughs> I told my son, leave the potato alone. The only way to fully load a baked potato is to load it with another smaller fully is that loaded will ferrell and andy sandberg and the only way to fully load that potato yet another fully loaded potato inside of it and so on and so on down to the molecular level <laughs> the, the infinity, infinity potato. potato once you wake to infinity potato there is no more sleep <laughs> i went to boston to attend lectures at mit game theory logic calculus and recursion my focus was clear Achieving infinity potato. Inf a fully infinity loaded potato. potato that is nowhere, is nothing, and is endless. But how? Imagine there's a point on the horizon you must reach. Walk half the distance there. Now walk half the remaining distance. Now half that. Now half again. Will you ever reach the horizon if you continuously half the distance? No. No. It is an endless journey into the abyss. <laughs> Now apply that terror to a fully loaded baked potato. This is infinity potato. <laughs> it asks the mind to confront God. And the mind returns full. Or blank. Flaubert says the more you approach infinity, the deeper you penetrate terror. But I am no longer afraid. <laughs> the way for me is clear. No! You have my father, you will not have me! So come on down to Hank's, where we've reverted back to our original recipe, because you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't Holy inflict infinity, infinity upon its essence. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god, Cheryl's going into labor. Wow. But we're already in line at the drive-thru? What? Mm. You basically made a promise to eat here, and if you leave, they can arrest you, I think. I think no, so, they too. Can't. <laughs> Pretty sure they can. Yeah, Hi, that sounds right. Arby's, what can we get for Ooh, you? Today? What do you want? Dude, I'll just get a hot dog. They don't have that. It's on the secret menu. I don't think Arby's is has it? a secret menu. So I guess that dude on Reddit was just lying for his own enjoyment, I guess. Did you hear how fucking stupid this is? <laughs> Fine, watch. Hi, do you guys have a secret menu? Nope. They're trained to say that. Yeah. I order it and they don't have it. I'm leaving you on the side of the fucking road. Fine, dude. Hi, can I get a hot dog? Extra long hot dog. What? You have to say extra long or they won't give it to you. Mm. Why would they do that? Are you guys still there? Yeah, sorry about that. Can I get one extra long hot dog? We don't have that. Austin Powers voice. What? <laughs> you gotta say it in Austin Powers voice. What is happening to today? Because I want to see my son being born. <laughs> Hi. Can I get an extra long hot dog, baby? Sure. I told you. That'll take about 25 minutes. Is that okay? That's completely fine. No, it's not. When you see how long this fucking hot dog is, you'll know that's not even a long time. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Sir, you can't leave. It's illegal, I think. Dude, you are acting I think it is crazy. too. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh, God. FBI, sir, are you trying to leave the drive-thru? Yes, he is, officer. That's illegal, I think. Officer, my son is being born right now. I really- Ugh. What? Why did your wife just send me a photo of E.T.'s dick? <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's my son. Sir, your son looks like E.T.'s dick. 
I want a hot dog from Arby's. Yeah, more of this. I'm glad we can make time to hang out. Yeah, man, it's been a while. What kind of debauchery are you getting into this weekend? A lot. Uh, I think Brad and I are going to head up to Crested Butte. Oh, nice. Yeah. What are you, what are you guys going to do, ski? Just skiing. Oh, nice. Yeah. My dad actually sent me a ski joke the other day. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> oh, how's your dad? He's good. He's doing good. Good. Okay. So, three guys go to a ski lodge, and there aren't enough rooms, so they have to share a bed. Okay. In the middle of the night, oh, yeah. the guy on the right wakes up and says, I had this wild, vivid dream of getting a hand job." Guy on the left wakes up, and unbelievably, he's had the same dream, too. Guy in the middle wakes up and says, That's funny. I dreamed I was skiing. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm going to have to tell Brad that. Um, tell Brad what's up. I haven't talked to him in a while. He's doing, he's doing good. I love it. This is historic. <laughs> you didn't know. That's where the pussy meme came from. She believed she could, so she did. Good. Well, she couldn't fix this. That's why I'm here. We got a leak in the ceiling. So I got to find a leak, fix the leak, fix the drywall. Get this fangirl reattached. Get this trim that's about to bot me in the head reattached. Let's start Jesus. there. It's easy. Oh my the God. trim was hiding a hundred-year-old stash of crack rocks, so we get rid of that and throw <laughs> it in the trash bag. And then we bust out destroyed? the Destroyed? Like, molding? I've never been on Carpenter TikTok. Then we remove all the nails from behind the trim. We also remove the nails from the trim itself. This trim is really old. It's original to the house, so check this out. It is super warped. Holy shit. Look at that. You can skateboard on that thing to a 900. <laughs> I want to match this reveal of the caulk line. So look at caulk. this hack move. I put a screw in on each side as a spacer. So when I nail the trim in, it doesn't sink in there and look stupid. <laughs> then I do my favorite thing, which is finger my caulk. And I come by and do a little <laughs> bit of touch-up paint. Vacuum wipe and reattach the fan girl nice and tight. Set up the zip wall system so I don't get my fucking mess all over the beautiful hand towels from Target. <laughs> Cut my hole up into the same size as my patch piece. Then I start investigating. This is a Bro, a these houses. Converted into a four apartment. This has to be on the East so Coast. I went to this each looks of like the shit. other three apartments. I ran the hand sink. I ran their kitchen sink. I flushed their toilets. And look, I found it. It's a bad wax ring. Poo poo water getting on the drywall. Mm. So we run upstairs to apartment two and we're going to get this toilet popped out. Of course, I got to shut the water Are people off paying to live here? Of after I unseize the valve, the valve's banging against the baseboard so I install it too close. <laughs> then I drain the tank of all the water that I can. I bust out my shop back once again. This is amazing. This is a lot of work. I wouldn't do all the toilets any I've ever hooked this. up with. This is the first one to squirt at me from the bolt cap. And there's a great debate in plumbing about whether or not you should caulk the bottom of your toilet. Simba. <laughs> well, if the bottom of this toilet wasn't caught, we would have seen Simba. the water coming out of here, not out of here. Been hidden. So I cut the caulk line with my... Milwaukee fastback, and then I try to remove the toilet, but for realize I forgot to remove the supply line. Look, there's our leak right there. What a lack of this wax. This is so You got to jumbo it out. Get all the wax removed. Throw it in the box. Look at that. How do you Stop learn up, this? And why would you do it? Never exists on planet Earth. Thank you for doing it, but why would you do it? I slap on that jumbo wax ring looking thick. Then I put the toilet in. I center it. And then I sit on it to compress the wax. Yeah. <laughs> then I tighten it up. And I flush it a million times and I check for leaks. Oh, no water. Nice. Then I run back downstairs to apartment one. I got these nails in a way that aren't allowing me to screw my drywall tight to the joist. So I've got this huge gap here. So I got to carve around one of my blades. Stop the bleeding where I can. Then I come by on my I come by with my cat's paw, cat's claw, cat's paw. What in the two. fuck? I remove the nails. I surround the area with you... reinforcement screws, throwing some backer pieces. I would just then cry. Then I patch in my new <laughs> half inch piece of drywall, pre-fill those large gaps, do a tape coat, first coat, second coat, paint it. Then we are... On to the next house. I would jump off a bridge, so thanks for doing what you do. Okay, class, settle down. Okay. Socks, bro. Kyle, yeah, it I know does. your parents are getting divorced, but I'm going to need you to check the broken home energy at the door. Never. Oh, that was rough. Dude. Please show me where I asked. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to need everyone to take out last night's homework. I didn't do it. Well, uh, you know, at least you're consistent. Thank you for staying true to yourself. It is the first hug. Yeah, you can't really exceed my expectations when I didn't have any in the first place. Did we so. even go over any of this? School is yeah, awful. No How would you know? I was teaching and you were sleeping. School you, was you so even bad. In the same dimension as the rest of us while I was giving that lesson. Can you do something fun today? Not my budget. Sucks. Yeah. I want to do this today. How about we all start doing work or else I'm going to set every one of you on fire. That's crazy. You can't say that. Yes, you can. I can be a serial killer, okay? You, you don't know me. You don't know my story, all right? Yeah. You treat me like a serial killer whose list you don't want to be on, okay? It's pretty good. good. Can we all do work? I'm severely underpaid. That's just... That just reminded me of the 
fucking just awful, awful experience that school was. <laughs> good job. Oh, good, good job. Did you Are you blind? Are you blind? Sorry. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> all right. All right. Blonde reacting. Dude. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. Huh? Some dickhead eats already. Dickhead eats. Look at him. With Ew. Go your ass Why would you fry an avocado? It's just gonna be liquid. Put in our egg water. With an egg? Don't say no joke. This is gonna be excellent. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the shut up, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> Ain't nothing was funny about that. Uh, What's with y'all frying shit that don't need to be hot? Yeah. Beautiful. Who wanna eat some hot ass mush? <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Eating some hot ass avocado. And it honestly, it does not. Sound good in theory at all, especially with a fucking you egg in the do middle. That with any type of fried food. Just do no, anything else. We just want a little bit of color and then we'll pull it out. We'll check on this. Are as you green gun as point? it is? You want more color on it? Nice. <laughs> looks like a. Nice. <laughs> Shut up, nigga. <laughs> it looks like a dinosaur egg. Buff ass voice. Okay, so it's been about. Your four voice minutes. alone bench press 350. <laughs> Let's do it. Perfect color. Wow, that looks so. Wow, that looks you sound like Seth Rogen. <laughs> We're gonna decorate it a bit. <laughs> if Seth Rogen wasn't funny, that'd be. <laughs> I'm gonna take some pepper flakes. A little extra kick. A little kick. I like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I feel you. Nice. Okay. okay. That looks great. Now let's cut into it. It's just that little. Okay. It's just gonna. It, I'm, a, it, I'm gonna be quiet. Know. Gotta make sure you get that egg. It's a really good fry job, though. I mean, it's dead in the fucking middle. So how else? <laughs> you know what? You got it. Ooh. You got it. Wow. Steam. Imagine eating steamy hot avocado with a big ass runny egg in the middle. Amazing. That works. That's so delicious, good. right? It, Wrong, nigga. No, ain't nobody liking like, it. Like, it's like two weird eyeballs. If it there. wasn't <laughs> hot, I don't it was know. a weird eyeball, nigga. <laughs> I don't know. That shit just felt right. Um, there. <laughs> don't ask why I said that. I don't know what it meant. All right, let's give it a shot. Go. His bad jokes wearing off on me. You did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Wasn't nothing funny. Look at how stupid that looks. You don't like that. <laughs> Every time you eat this, so you got the worst so poker face on earth. You know you don't like that. You ain't even gonna swallow it. You know don't. Man, I'm shut up. Shut Dude, I have to... Uh, what? I saw a horse walk into a bar one time. Nice. Is this a joke? No. No, it's a story. Cool. So the horse walks up to the bartender and orders a Manhattan. Your face is scary, bartender but makes a drink, hands enjoyable. It to the, horse. the horse looks at it, says, did you just shake my Manhattan? Bartender says, yeah, it's a cocktail. Use the cocktail shaker. Horse says, look, I'm a horse. And even I know a Manhattan must be stirred. You never shake a Manhattan. Bartender says, yeah, listen look, to the I'm horse. a busy fella. All right, got a lot of customers. And if I'm going to shake your drink, I'm going to shake it. You can drink it or not. I don't care. The horse takes a sip of the Manhattan, spits it back out. Says, what kind of vermouth did you put in this? Bartender says, vermouth. It's a vermouth, vermouth knowledgeable vermouth. horse. Pulls out a bottle of dry vermouth. And the horse about loses his mind at this point. <laughs> He's like, you put dry vermouth in my Manhattan? It is not a martini, sir. A Manhattan is made with sweet vermouth. And any bartender worth his salt would know that. Yeah. The bartender looks at him and says, I don't need any lip off of some horse, all right? Now, you can get the hell out of my bar. The horse starts putting its hooves in its own mouth and starts pulling. And starts pulling. Ah! Starts pulling at his hooves and the skin around his ankles starts tearing horse blood starting to gush out onto the bar. What? He pulls his own hooves off of his legs with his mouth and out of the out of the ankle holes emerge two human hands. And then the hands reach into the horse's mouth and start pulling open its jaws wider and wider until they snap and horse teeth are flying all over the place. And then out of the neck hole emerges the head of John Taffer. It was an episode of Bar, Bar Rescue. Rescue. And, <laughs> and he had disguised himself in a living horse flesh exoskeleton so that no one would recognize him. He could get a better feel for the place. It was disgusting. Oh, what in the fuck did I do? to get these videos on my For You page. Jam. Kelly, you heard you got them 
big ship blows. I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight them things look moist. Nice. Yes, they do. No one got them tiggle bitches like you. <laughs> I swear it's true. Uh, oh, it's them 38 double D. <laughs> fucking folk music, oh, dude. What you doing with them big old titties? Oh, it's them 38 double D. Beautiful. Just really noise. <laughs> noise. No, no you know, more. Was, no more. I was drinking okay, an ice more. cold, refreshing Dr. Pepper the other day. I bet. And I know what y'all are thinking. Shouldn't be drinking that stuff. It's bad for yeah. you. Well, you know, guilty as charged. We get it. But I was drinking that Dr. Pepper and I was reading the can there and it said that there was 23 flavors in that little can. And I thought, wow, that's incredible. How do they get I'm sorry, guys. so many flavors I'm really sorry. into one little can? That's a miracle. And then I thought, hey, I know a guy who knows a little something about miracles. <laughs> you see, his name was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. No, hey, this is dude. relatable. Did I leave my lighter in my truck? To a lot of you. Damn, my goddamn cigarettes, Quit bro. smoking. I know I did not leave that lighter in that truck. God damn it, I'm going to have to go get it. Dude, the winner you been smoking early. cigs. No, I'm going to think I'm going to go ahead and wait it on out. You know, I got a four-wheel drive truck. No, I've been out here about, uh, about 15, 20 minutes. I'm good. I'm going to get a few puffs <laughs> in. Just a few puffs. Just a few puffs. I'm going to come on in there. All right. All right. Wait, dog. Yeah, it's cold as shit out here. No, Claudine, I'm good. I'm good. I ain't even cold for real. Yeah. I'm fine. I've been there, there about 15 minutes. There was something comfort, get a few comforting about in. this, though. A few more puffs, I'm coming back, back in. Back when I used to work My and is well smoke. Gone in. Lord, have mercy. That boy ain't seen Jeff yet. God damn. I know Jeff got to be looking for me now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, that's it. That's it. Ooh, ooh. Take that shit no more. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nostalgic. This isn't funny, but uh, I thought I would play it. I was born in 1990, and I was sort of raised in America when it was a cult of self-expression. I love and both. And I was just taught, you know, express myself and have things to say, and everyone will care about them. And I think everyone was taught that, and most of us found out no one gives a shit what we think. <laughs> so we flock to performers by the thousands, because yeah. we're the few that have found an audience, and then I'm supposed to get up here and say, follow your dreams, as if this is a meritocracy. <sighs> it is not, okay? I had a privileged life, and I got lucky, and I'm unhappy. <laughs> yep. They say it's, it's like the me generation. It's not. It's not. A the arrogance is taught, or it was cultivated. It's, it's self-conscious. That's what it is. It's the... It's conscious of self. What the social media, it's just the market's answer to a generation that demanded to perform. So the market said, here, perform everything to each other all the time for yeah. no reason. It's prison. It's horrific. It is performer and audience melded together. What do we want more than to lie in our bed at the end of the day and just watch our life as a satisfied audience member? I know very little about anything, but what I do know is that if you can live your life without an audience, you should do it. When that came out, I didn't, I think it was ahead of its time because I didn't realize how applicable it was. Um, but anyway, we're all pieces of shit. That's it for this video. I hope you didn't like it. Going live right now. Just stay till the end of this if you're watching the premiere and it'll dump you out to my face. Uh, and if you're, if you're not watching the premiere, but it's still Tuesday somehow, link down in the box with the words. Gonna be a good time. Don't miss it. Doing a call and stream. Talking about your cheating exes. I can't wait to hear how sad you are. <laughs> I respond to every comment I get, so please leave one. Uh, I am feeling pretty good. I uh, took a little bit of a break again because we had uh, some musical stuff coming up for I Love You, I Know. Make sure we get the next thing out. But back to our normal schedule. Uh, make sure to leave a comment. Even if you're watching the premiere, I'll uh, give y'all respond tomorrow morning. So I hope you guys are doing great, feeling good, and enjoying the winter. Subscriber don't, thanks. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
mean you come to Ohio, you just park in the grass. Fuck a driveway. 